Welcome to Genshin Optimizer, where we provide the tools and you provide the game knowledge. In this guide, I'll show you how to use the improved graph target and build constraint features. Do you have a character that scales off multiple stats across different types of skills, but when you optimize for one skill, the others are often neglected more than you'd like? You thought custom multi-target optimization could help you, but you can't create one that combines damage, shields, and healing? Well, this guide is for you. For example, now that Cookie has found a home in the fancy new Hyperbloom teams, you want her to be the trigger, but also provide enough healing to offset the Bloom self-damage. Select your optimization target. In this case, I'll pick a custom multi-target that combines her skill and Hyperbloom damage. Then select the graph target to be her healing output. When a build is generated, you'll now be presented with a graph showing the optimization target on the left and the graph target across the bottom. The currently equipped build is shown in green, which also happens to be the highest damage output build in this case. However, the graph is showing several builds on the same plane to the right, indicating more healing, but almost no damage loss. You can now click these dots to see that exact build and have the ability to add the build to the preview list below. Scroll down to the preview and you can see that this build has more HP, but only marginally less EM, so it's a good trade-off to increase her healing efficiency. Another example would be optimizing for the strongest tank fey you can achieve. Selecting her Constellation 4 damage absorption will ignore all other stats and just return a build with the largest shield. Obviously this isn't ideal, since you also want Ashkai, I mean Yanfei, to be dropping the biggest law, I mean pyro bombs, possible. Select a build constraint of at least 50% crit rate and a comfortable energy recharge constraint, since it's important for Yanfei to use her burst. Now graph this against her 3 seal charged attack to see how the results can be further refined. Using the slider below the graph, you can zoom in and remove all builds resulting in less damage than the current optimal. On this account, there's a steep drop-off between having a 10k shield and a 9k shield. Previewing these builds show that this one is using an attack sans, whereas this one is using a HP sans. This is unsurprising, and while you could set a HP main stat filter, this could remove the possibility of the optimizer using a particularly good attack main stat sans. So instead, set another constraint to only return builds that achieve at least a 10k shield. Now the graph has been reduced to something more digestible, allowing you to pick the exact build that suits your requirements. And lastly, you can now set the same target as multiple constraints, allowing you to quickly toggle between the different tiers. Here I have different energy recharge constraints set for Shangling depending on her requirements for different teams. Turning off the 250% constraint allows the optimizer to fall back to the next highest constraint, now returning the best 200% energy recharge build. For more help with multi-target optimization, see the custom multi-target guide video. I hope this guide was helpful, and if you have further questions, don't hesitate to join our Discord community to ask for assistance.